You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. And I said it's Liza with a Z, not Lisa with an S, because Lisa with an S is hello. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. How are you doing, Lee? I was doing fine, Mike, until that. Till what? That thing, that Liza thing that you've been doing for the past 12 hours. Oh, Liza with a Z, not Lisa with an S, because oh, Lisa with an S, because not Z. <laughs> <Yeah. sighs> what have you got for us in the show business, Lee? Really? Um, well, we've got a little bit of news about a showbiz spat. Oh. We've got some news about um, a celebrity being released. I do love a release. Back into the wild. And something about Drag Race. <laughs> well, lovely. Thank you very much for that insight of the whole show. On screen now, you can see all the ways of getting in contact with us at The Could TV on social media, where you can follow us as well. The TV is our website, and on YouTube and podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe so you always get our loveliness in your face. And as people who have commented, liked or shared something on our social media, their names scroll along the screen at the bottom. It's time for Mike and the Buzz. So you're not a fan of that song then? No. No. It's, it's a Liza Bedelli song. Yeah. I'm in Leola, I'm in Leody. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll start now. Anyway, um, how do you sleep? Usually in a coffin. Upside down? Yeah. Bats hanging around you? Yeah. <laughs> During the daytime? <laughs> never, in, never in full daylight, always, yeah. you know, yeah. Steering far away from any, any garlic. Yeah, that kind of stuff, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, some mums have got upset. Do you oh. know who the one million mums are? No, I don't, Mike. Please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are a million of them. Um, they're a very far-right Christian organisation oh. um, who basically hate everything. Everything and everybody. Apart from themselves. Apart from themselves. And even then, I think there's a bit of self-hate. Self mm, and Jesus. They love Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What? I bathed in his blood. <laughs> I stole that off. <laughs> off what? Stole that off Kat here and, and uh, Trixie. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um, well, they've, they've got very upset about a commercial. Oh. Okay. Where there's been basically two gentlemen. Okay. In bed together. Now, when we say to in bed together, we're not talking of sort of like rubby, bumpy, sexy time. No. They're, they're fully dressed. Just having a little snuggle. They're, they're not even snuggling, they're just having a conversation. Face well, technically, he's, he's caressing his elbow. Is that a snuggle to you? It's very sexual. Is it? Mm. An elbow sexual? Yeah, that's a prelude to full on hardcore sex, that. Just touching somebody's elbow. Elbow fisting. That's how it goes. <laughs> it's like that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Fisting via felching. Lots of F words there. Um, well, they said that it glamorised same sex couples. We're not wearing tiaras, it's not particularly glamorous, it's just kind of just everyday tiara, <laughs> isn't it? Boging. Whatever. They have to get upset about something. They do. Because if they're not, then they have time to reflect on their own sad, empty, desolate lives. Okay. And um, that so will never do. Someone that's never heard of them like five minutes ago. They just, they've they've just angered me. They've angered you already. They've just angered me. Okay, yeah. Well, the 30 second commercial is for an organic mattress. Oh, what makes an, a, a mattress organic, Mike? It's organic. And, uh, How, though? And, and pillow company mm -hmm. called Avocado. Why is it? What? Avocado. Uh, it, <laughs> Avocado! Um, <laughs> I don't own a motorbike, no, but, but I've got avocado. Avocado. <laughs> Is it? Is it? Um, are the mattresses made out of avocado? No. No. Oh, okay. They're just organic and good for the world and oh, okay. people to sleep on. Right. Okay. Um, so obviously, Twitter got involved. I went, ah, oh, calm down. One million months. Oh, were they like posting loads of stuff? Stuff. The the <laughs> the million mothers. Yeah, they, they did a. a um, a petition to say get it banned off TV and stuff, and it was filth and that sort of thing. But um, Avocado basically came back and said, we wouldn't be what it is without the incredible contributions from our many LGBTQIA plus employees and customers. And we'll, we sta stand by them proudly. It's good. The thing with it is, we, we shouldn't have to defend anything that we put on. Um, it just should be a matter of fact mm -hmm. that in TV commercials and TV shows, there are same-sex couples, there are straight couples, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's part of life. There are couples. Just there are couples. Or there might be people alone in bed. Mm. Or several people. Yes. Yeah. 
monsters under the bed. Everything. The whole gamut. See what I did there? We talked about different types of relationship. Yeah. And monsters under the bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like that advert that was recent that we had on British TV recently for the home insurance. Uh -huh. And it was the little boy that started off in his bedroom, dressing up as a princess, coming down the stairs um, on the table in a pair of high heels, flinging mm -hmm. glitter and stuff. And everyone was out outraged and saying, he shouldn't be doing this. He shouldn't be wearing a dress. It it's encouraging this, that and the other. No, it's not. It's just a child doing that. So just child being a child. Yeah, that was pulled. They pulled that advert mm -hmm. because the mother of the child was getting a lot of grief. Um, on social media saying, why have you... And she's like, he's an actor. He's acting. Mm -hmm. I was upset that he was trashing the house. <laughs> I didn't care that and he was... he wasn't wearing... sharing, the, sharing the shoes with you. He was literally was like banging things off the walls and stuff. He, he would have been in bed very early if, if he lived at my house. But I didn't mind that he had a pair of slingbacks on. <laughs> By the grace of God, go I. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Got mules on. I've got mules on. Yeah, they're comfortable. <laughs> Never heard of mules. I have, but they're not mules. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> not asleep. I've got mules. They haven't. That's a lie. Um, should we move on then? Mm. Have you heard about Salt Bay? No. No. So you've not heard about the expensive steak? Oh, is this the is this the the, the bloke that just dips his salt <laughs> dips his meat <laughs> dips his meat in salt? <laughs> This is a bloke that um, sells an £850 steak. That's in money, not weight. That's like a... You could buy, like, a, a herd of cows for that. You probably could. Mm. Um, but it's expensive because he coats it in gold leaf. Oh, well done for him. Yeah, which is, mm. yeah, which is great. Um, well, a Bolton chef has mocked him. Has he? By Bolton. Bolton. <laughs> in Bolton. Um, with a £12.50 pork pie. Okay. That he has also embraced in gold leaf. Okay, I'm not. I'm not a fan of a pork pie. Why not? I don't like the the, the gelatinous oh, crap inside. That, Give that a suck. <laughs> what is? What even is it? What is it's that jelly? But what is it? It's jelly. Yeah, but what's it made out of? Gelatin. Yeah. Is it like cow juice that has been? <laughs> it's gelatin. Yeah, but what is gelatin? Oh, it's crushed up bone juice. Ah, oh, well, that's, that's that's every reason why I don't like them. Look, you don't like normal jellies, like a strawberry jelly. Yeah, but I get gelatin free. So I'm all about, I'm all about with nature. Are you not? <laughs> you really not? No. no. <laughs> I've seen you drive from one end of the street to the other. <laughs> and I left the car running at the other end. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not eating those fumes, am I? <laughs> <laughs> so. Gareth Mason has brought out this menu that's got things like um, gold leaf covered chips, mm. um, a gold sausage, um, a 24 carat carrot. Clever. It's all clever, isn't it? It's very clever. It's all very clever. Let's see what happens when he cashes up at the end of the week and sees how much he's made from his 12. 12 pound 50 is a lot of money for a pork pie. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm. But then he's giving people gold. And he don't digest gold, so he'll be literally pooping gold. Little brown. Little golden nuggets. Yes, not you already pooped the brown nuggets. <laughs> yeah, I already pooped the brown nuggets. But little little golden nuggets. Yes. Like little tiny golden eggs. You could pretend <laughs> We could pretend you're a goose. <laughs> Let's not get <laughs> Where are we going with that? I don't there? know. <laughs> but I think I need to stop myself <laughs> stop myself now. Before we start talking about Yeah, we we were <laughs> Yes, we talk about these love eggs some other time. But in the meantime, if you want to interact with us on social media, it's at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, still on YouTube under Chewing The Cud. Now we talk about our story of the week. Do you remember Ross's Moist Maker in I France? do. Because the good news is you can now get that sandwich from Deliveroo. Ooh. Yes. So you can get the, the turkey sandwich mm. with the bit of bread in the middle. which That's is the Moist gravy. Maker. The moist maker. Mm -hmm. This isn't a story just so I can say the word moist. Or moist. Like, I like to really announce it. Mm -hmm. so I, I mean, I'd be interested in that because that, that tastes. That looks like it tastes nice. Yeah, with the cranberry sauce on it. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Are you a fan of cranberry sauce? Do you know, in on on something. On something, not just not just, but not just not just the main. main. <laughs> <laughs> that I do. <laughs> I like it with. I like cranberry jelly. Oh well, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cranberry sauce, not cranberry I, I don't appreciate chunks of fruit. I, 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 I like a smooth experience. 
place. In my edibles. Yeah. Edibles. Yeah. I, oh, um, <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm eating things. Yeah. I, yeah. So if not I have your edibles then. No, not my edibles. No. Jam, smooth. Just a, just a bland consistency. Okay. Easy to digest. Okay. So talking about stuff that's bland. And that's the end of the buzz this week. Thanks for that, Mike. I think I'm going to... Yeah. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get lubed up and ready for the showbiz with Lee. <laughs> So, showbiz this week is very much like your your moist make a sandwich what, a bit story. Of, a bit of bread covered in gravy. No, happy happy layers. Oh, happy sad layers. layers and happy layers. I don't want yeah. sad layers in my mouth. Well, we have a little bit of a sad layer. Okay. So, Billy Porter. We're normally on board with Billy Porter. Yes. Massive, massive. I'm pro Billy Porter. Pro Billy Porter. Massive advocate for sexuality, mm -hmm. his own issues. Now, he's. I personally feel he's let himself a little bit down a little bit at Love Late. He's, he's been talking about um, Harry Styles, mm. formerly of One Direction, um, posing in a dress on the front cover of Vogue last year. Right. Um, so Harry Styles was the first man mm -hmm. to ever have a front cover in Vogue. Mm -hmm. We've got a picture of, of, of Harry Styles. We talked about it at the time. Is he blowing um, up a balloon there? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Um, and Billy Porter wasn't, hasn't been particularly very happy about it. He's kind of like saying that, you know, what's up? this is his quote. He says, I created the conversation about non-binary fashion. And yet Vogue still put Harry Styles, a straight white man, in a dress on their cover for the first time. Um, he went on to say, I'm not dragging Harry Styles, but he's the one you're going to try and use to represent this new conversation. He doesn't care. He's just doing it because it's a thing to do. It's not a new conversation in mm, before. No. David Bowie yeah. famously was androgynous and dressed differently. Yeah, Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury, placebo in the 90s, all Boy wore, George. wore dresses and makeup. Now, now, whether or not the conversation is about um, black LGBTQ yeah. people being mm -hmm. being sort of portrayed in, in media, yeah. could, you know, that could well be. Mm -hmm. But it did come across a little bit like sour grapes. Mm. He has apologised. Okay. So he's basically said, Harry Styles, I apologise to you for having your name in my mouth. That is a strange thing to That's say. That's not an apology. Um, uh, is it not an apology? That's not an apology. Is it not? I'm sorry I used your name. Mm. He said, it's not about you. The yeah. conversation is not about you. He, he went on to add that the conversation is deeper than that. Explained that it's about the systems of oppression and erasure of people of colour and and how who can contribute to the culture, which completely get. Mm -hmm. um, there's, no, uh, there's not a rule that says you can only wear a dress if you're this person and yep. we'll put you on a magazine. You know, mm. I, I went to see Steps the other evening. Did you? Yeah. Oh, did you um, get any free tickets? I didn't, Mike, no. Well, I did. Did you get any spare tickets? That I you did, thought, but it was all... Maybe Mike, who couldn't get tickets, would like to go. This is not what we're talking about, though, is it? We're talking about... It's what we're talking about uh, right now. Right, okay. When you went to see Steps and got some free tickets and didn't ask me if I wanted to go, but had to give them away to random strangers, yeah? Uh, yeah. They had a wonderful time, I, I bet believe. they did. Um, H, at one point, was wearing a full ball gown on stage yeah. to a song. Oh, looking hot. Quite, looking quite buff. Mm. Mm. So, I, you know, we stand by Billy Porter. Definitely. But we also kind of think Billy. And also stand by Harry Styles as well. Yeah, because... Harry Styles has been a massive um, supporter of the LGBTQI community. Yeah. Comes out on stage in dresses all the time, has been seen with the, waving the trans flag, the Progress Pride flag. Mm. I yeah. think at one of his latest concerts, he helped a young girl come out to her... Yeah parents mm -hmm. at the, the concert so you know it's it's a magazine cover at yeah. the end of the day wear what you want to wear yeah it's a bloke in a dress at the end of the day who cares well i do okay so i like a dress you know it um, was it was a gucci dress not a gooch dress you know that right <laughs> well that's rude from one extreme to the other from one from one direction <laughs> to another. Um, RuPaul's Drag Race UK news. Uh -huh. so does have this contain spoilers? It might do if Ooh. you haven't watched it yet, but you should have by now. Yeah, you should have. Yeah, you might yeah. not have. So in the last episode, mm -hmm. where it was supposed to kind of be whittled down to the final four. Final three. Was it three? Final three. Yeah. Final three. Um, the, big, the big shock mm -hmm. was that nobody was sent home. <gasps> so they did this. You see, I'm not a fan of the acting 
bits in Drag Race. In the acting challenges. Yeah, I just found it a little bit crazy. They, the judges apparently found it absolutely hysterical and were guffawing away. Mm -hmm. And I was just brushing a tumbleweed away from the television. Not really, it wasn't horrific, but it just, it's not very funny. The previous week's episode was hilarious. Why have you got tumbleweed in your house? Because it was not funny. Right, it was okay. Just, it was just was a sound just of silence. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so they did this acting thing where they mm. did, it was, was it like Bra Wars or something like yeah. that? Oh, so Vanity Milan, uh -huh. And Crystal Versace, yep. they thought that they were the ones that were going to be up for elimination. elimination. Well, in a twist, they weren't. They were safe, mm -hmm. which threw a lover day and Kitty Scott Claus into a bit of a panic, thinking, oh my God, what's happening? It's a definite spiral. Um, <laughs> and no, they, were, they both won. They joined one. Okay. Then they had to um, lip sync for the prize of the Brew Pizza badge. Mm -hmm. So all of them have gone through okay. to the final. Great. Um, so yeah. Uh, who do you think is going to win? I I I quite like Crystal Versace. No, I don't like Crystal Versace. I like Kitty Scott Claus. Yeah, do you? Really? Yeah, do you I think. think she's think of her for the top spot. Quite possibly. Yeah. Oh, I've got a picture of her on, on screen now. Yeah, dressed as um, Rose from the Titanic, from which Titanic, is yeah. the the theme of the the runaway. That episode was movie stuff. Movie icons. Yeah. Yeah. But she did the best. Um, Reveal ever she tore away a dress that had a big slit down the front. So yeah. there's no point. No, it would have been funny if she had like a shark on the end of her leg. That would <laughs> have been funny. Wasn't a shark in Titanic? No, but it would have been jaws. funny. Oh, yeah, no, but that would have been funny. Or a frozen leg. Frozen like, leg. Yeah, yeah. We've got, we've got, we've got. I love a day on the screen that went as a sexy umpalumpa. Can an umpalumpa be sexy? Though? No, not really. I mean, Elva day is a boy. Yeah. Yes. 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 Um, but no, Sexy Umplumpa doesn't do it for me. Yeah. So who knows who? Well, they've, it's all, it was filmed years ago, so they know who's won. No, they uh, don't. Do they not know? They film different endings. Oh, and then they have to wait until the mm -hmm. final show for it to be revealed. They're yeah. Things. They're knocking these series out. They're, they're, <laughs> they're, interview they're, they're auditioning mm -hmm. for series four mm -hmm. now, and then I fully expect them to be... A, um, a, an all-stars. Oh, yeah, an all-stars. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, there we go. Now, final bit of showbiz news, which is very good showbiz news. Okay. So if I went... What would you think? I'd think you were in pain and you were a cat. In the zone. I'm alone. Have you ever been at home at night? You listened out in the back garden on a summer's evening. And you just heard the occasional chirping of birds and then a cat on here going. Mah! That's all I heard there. Yeah. See. Anyway, for those people who are starting going, it's Britney, bitch. It is. It's about Britney. So over the week, mm -hmm. it has been revealed that her conservatorship has been abolished. Yay! Got rid of it. Um, so the judge and an LA um, in an LA Superior Court have gone. That's it. Therefore, you know. She's free. She can do what, whatever she wants to, which is fantastic. So she's, she's, you know, she's had this for, you know, over 10, 12 years of... In 14 years, of, she said. ...of this, being yeah. told what to do oh. and how to do things. And the fact is that this is the woman that makes the money for all these people. Yeah. Yeah, isn't allowed to live her own life. Um, the fans were all outside the, the courthouse oh. cheering on. She has posted lots of social media to kind of like say it's fantastic, she, she can't believe it. She has said that she would like to retire, mm -hmm. but quite possibly I think if she's seen all this kind of support, you know, she may well um, get into the zone. You need to stop and, um, <laughs> it doesn't sound how you think it, it does. Sounds. That's how she, she, she does it, that's how she sings. No, no, she sings words yes. and occasionally accentuates the word. Yeah, 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 she doesn't yeah, just yeah. say like, <laughs> Otherwise, they wouldn't have got rid of the conservative ship thing. But she sat there doing that's that. just that's a thing. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, so she, so her, her very hot, attractive boyfriend, mm -hmm. Sam Ascari, was out in in Los Angeles just hours after the judge made the the, the official um, termination, and he was um, wearing. So he's twenty seven. Mm -hmm. She's nearly forty. Good for her. Um, Going next week, mm, next month even. Yeah. Is she? Yeah. Uh, he was wearing a black t shirt that said "Free Britney." Mm -hmm. With his arms. Ooh. Oh, he's yeah. a personal trainer though, isn't he? So mm. and and the, the hashtag free Britney has now become hashtag freed Britney. Okay. Yeah. Added a letter. So that's great. Yeah, it's really good news. I'm so yeah. happy for her. That's the end of this week's showbiz news. Here it's Meow. You need to stop doing that noise. It doesn't sound how you think it sounds. It's slightly disturbing. 
So, um, so Brittany is going to be released from a conservatorship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's rumours she's going to retire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My big question is, when's the wedding? Oh, I don't know. She also said she wanted to have a child with a partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but wasn't allowed to make that decision under the conservatorship. No. No. Um, so, I'm thinking wedding, baby. What's going to happen next? Quite possibly. We, we, we will just yeah. have to. We will just have to wait and see. I don't want to wait and see, Lee. I want to know what you're. Well, thinking. I don't know. I'm not a friend. Yeah. I, I don't know who she is. I can do an impression of her, and that's about you it. You can't even do an impression of her, to be fair. Um, and when you're saying about drag race, you said who you think is going to win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've decided that I'm not going to tell you who I think is going to win. Okay. I'm going to send you a message with it on. And do I, not, do I not look at it until next week? Un until it's announced. Oh. Yeah. I think we'll do a reveal. <gasps> I'm going to get sued. Um, on the show. Amazing. Mm. But yeah. Fantastic. Thanks for all that show, Bisley. Stick around, because coming up next, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we are playing Ooza Kazoo, and this one's for you, Lee. So off your flounce, remove thyself. Game of the week. All he needs to do is sing a popular tune with something shoved in his pile to distort the sound more than usual. Are you ready, Lee? <laughs> oh, wrong end. <laughs> I can't believe you put the wrong end in. Sorry. Right, get the first one up. Pop song for you. Okie dokes. Okay. <laughs> Is it the Grand National theme tune? No, it's a pop song, Marcus. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Are you in pain? No. Well, you will be if you don't guess them properly. No? No. No. That was oh. Wannabe by the Spice Girls, Mike. Was it? It was. It sounded like the Grand National theme tune. <laughs> okay. You may remember this from your childhood. Remember, I'm significantly younger than you. Okay. From my childhood. Yeah. Rainbow. No. Slightly, slightly a few decades ahead. Bagpuss. No. Mr. Ben. No. Shall I keep... Thomas the Tank Engine. No. Have we given up now? Yeah. Do we have to do it again? No. No, it was Postman Pat theme tune. Oh. Okay. Oh. I can't remember how that goes. Um, <laughs> okay, another one from you, possibly from your childhood. Okay. Oh, and I don't know the rest of it. <laughs> See, I was going to go with the A team to start with. Oh. But yeah. No, I can't remember it right now. Let me do it. <laughs> what was it? Puts out my misery. It was least. the Teletubbies theme tune. Teletubbies. Teletubbies. Say. Hello. Uh, but I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't do that bit. No, you didn't. No. Very traditional uh, kids. Not necessarily kids, but very traditional song. Okay. <laughs> Is 
Is it Humpty Dumpty? No. Not working. Is it Il Clamo Batat? No, it's London Bridge is falling down. Uh, it's off. It's going off on its own now. Okay, let's let's do it. Let's do a pop song now. Let's do a pop song. Let's do a pop song now from the from the eighties. Okay. Oh, the uh, decade I was born. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> No. Is it the locomotion by Kelly Minogue? It's not. I mean, that genuinely, I don't know what you're hearing. Cause that, I'm cause noise. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a song goes doodle doo. Doodle doo. It's, it's, it sounds like a, an old Nokia ringtone. Doodle doo. If that's not the main bit to focus on, that's just like the end bit. It's Kylie Minogue. It's not, Mike. Put your hand on your heart. No. Tell me. It was Billie Jean. Billie Jean who? And Michael Jackson. Oh. Get it now, why do you keep pressing it after that? After no, the... it's the buzzer going off on its own. Oh, okay, okay. I've got a wonky buzz. Um, okay. Another another classic disco song for you. Dance Yourself Dizzy by um, Jay McDonald. No. Noises you're making. That literally is. That is literally in my head. That is the actual. Song. In your head, that's the problem. Lee. In your head, it sounds right. When it comes out your mouth, it's wrong. But it's it's the actual tune. It really isn't that problem. It is. Don't know what it is. It's staying alive by the Bee Gees. Right, another 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 pop song. Itchy nose. Okay. <laughs> Daisy, Daisy. No, it's Daisy, not. Daisy, it's not. Daisy. It's not. Give me your answer, true. Strength. I'm half crazy over the love of you. You know it. You were dancing to it. I'm just dancing along to the noise you're making. No. Is it Night Fever? <laughs> no, Mike, fever, it's not. Night Fever. No. It's, got, it's got a dance routine. It's, it's like every single family disco that they've ever. Five, six, seven, eight by Steps. No. It's a concert I couldn't go to. <laughs> Good hula melody. Y M C A. Oh, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> no, it's Agadu. Oh, Aga Black Lace. Bloody do. My Black Lace. Yes, it is. Yes. <sighs> okay. Very, very famous song from the seventies. Massive. Right. Okay. Oh, 
Ah, if you don't get that, I'm going to come over there and, and cut your throat. Just if for If I laughs. don't get you going... Uh, uh, uh. No, not, a, not even, not a single clue. The only, I've got, um, Can't Help Falling In Love With You by Elvis Presley. What? what? Man, say, can you say something? I think I'm going to go, uh, uh, uh. No. That's all you've done, just like pitch noises. Oh my God. I don't believe it, I've never been this <gasps> Lily Helen. No. No. It's Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. What, how did you not get, oh my God. Which part of Bohemian Rhapsody were you all, doing? All, all, you weren't doing all of it, it's a I, huge song. <laughs> okay. A theme tune. Okay. <sighs> EastEnders. I knew you were going to say that. I knew he was going to say that on purpose. I'm going to bite this and break it. Hollyoaks. I'm going to sit here in silence, Mike, now until you actually get the right one. <laughs> I know the people at home are also doing that as well. Yes, Mike. You said you were going to sit there in silence. You just said words. <laughs> so, as I was going to do, it's quite clearly. I can't think of the name. At a pub. Shameless, that's it. Can't even spit properly, Lee. Coronation Street. Oh, and Coronation Street. that's the end of that. Street. So that was the Coronation Street theme tune. That's interesting. But after this break, it's time to get our craft on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time we glitter up a toothbrush and call it art. It's Crafty Queens. Mike, yes. have you ever been sat at home by yourself and suddenly this overwhelming sadness of loneliness crushes you? Only every day. Every day of the week. Yes. Well, we're going to rectify that, Mike. We're going to make you a little friend. Now, when you say little friend, is this like a little friend I bought off eBay that, that bounces about? No, not mm. that one. That one, this mm. one is, is is totally external only. Yeah. Um, yeah. Disappointed. So we 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 have a sock. Uh huh. You have a sock. Oh, uh, I know sock. what's going to happen here. What? Feeling lonely. Got a sock. Mm, mm -hmm. Not really. Okay. Um, I mean, if, if it was that case, you just need to snip the heel off, and it would be fine. And just. Throw away the rest. Oh please! Um, like I use, <laughs> like I use anything and waste any. We're gonna, we're gonna make a little friendly creature that that, <laughs> that you, you can chat to when you're feeling a bit lonely. So, on in front of you, you have you have this the you have the sort of shavings from my undercarriage area in front of uh -huh. you. Uh, we do, I like yeah. To, to kind of get rid of them once a year. Mm -hmm. Um, what I want you to do is take a handful and as if you like you're making um a, a snowball. Kind of roll it into a... Oh, my hands are cold. I don't want to do this. Yeah, but we're inside and it's not really snow. No, you said like I can make a snowball. That's how I make a snowball. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your, you take your fistful of pubes uh -huh. and you're going to stick them all the way to the bottom of your sock. So you want me to fist, my so fist a sock, yeah? Yeah, all the way down to the bottom. I went in dry. You did indeed. So then what you... Because we want to have segments. Okay. You've got some. You've got some um, rubber bands there, Mike. Okay. What I would like you to do is to um, section off that little. Like that. No, yeah. You need to go around it a couple of times. All right. Okay. A couple of times. Make okay. it quite secure. Like that. Make it nice and neat. 
Right, and then you're going to repeat that process all the way along the length of your sock length. So we'll just do that. Oh, fannying around with it. Sorry. That's asking me to do something. You know, not enjoy myself while doing it. I'll stop enjoying myself while doing it then. <sighs> this is when mummy needs her juice box. Mummy needs her juice box. <laughs> 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 mummy needs her juice box. Mummy needs a special juice box. <laughs> <laughs> Who's mummy? Me. <laughs> oh, what's your special juice box? Not cheese box. I said juice box. Juice box. Box of wine. So how many times do I have to do this? All the way to the end, Mike. <sighs> Can I not just do the tip? No. Not if you just do the tip. Not if you want full satisfaction. This is oh ah! This is oh. What happened there? I, I tried to get a bit of oh it's no. You have to, we have to test people at home. If you are using glue guns, which we are, be very very careful because they're very very hot and they hurt a lot. If you if you touch them, <laughs> so um, stop touching it, Lee. Well, I, I needed to move. Oh god, I needed to move something out of the way. Uh huh. So. Um, yeah, this is this is this is a very very simple craft. Um, it is. It is. And it's going surprisingly well so it far. It is. Yeah. Is this this one you've researched? It this is, week? Mike. I have watched a tutorial. Oh. I thought I could grasp the shoving stuff in it. And... Yeah. Oof. Oh, it takes quite a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, you, you, yeah. You do. You have to manipulate. But we are up against time here, so we are we are being quite quick. Yeah, but. You... You wouldn't expect something so tight to take so much. <sighs> Ooh. And I bet you, you know, this is something that, although as, as much as you mock, uh -huh. I bet all your family and friends will be getting one of these for Christmas. They won't. They all right, so what do I do at the end? Okay, so have you, have you got all the way to the end? That's why I'm asking what I'm doing at okay, the end. Okay, so you need to tie off the end as well. So I need to give it a balloon knot? Yeah. <laughs> That's another euphemism for bottom. And like in school, we choose to ignore that language. It was English, you know. Oh, right. Okay. I've created myself a balloon knot. Right, so do you have any idea what this could be yet? A waste of time. No. No, I think pretty sure it's a waste of time. <laughs> Got prolapse. Okay, so I, ha I have created mine. Look at that, how symmetrical. <laughs> symmetrical is that? I'm quite impressed by that. So, mine's got a rosebud. Nice. Mine's got a little face, which is co is co So, now you've also got, you've got some pipe cleaners there, Mike. Uh -huh. Would you like to choose a colour that, yeah, that, that you like? I'm choosing Baby. pink. <laughs> I've chosen a pipe cleaner, yeah? Um, and <laughs> if you if you make it into a V shape, uh huh, yeah, and the whichever end, no, not the end with the balloon knot, the end with <laughs> not the, the prolapse end, no, the the one that's at the front, uh huh, kind of put that like that and then twist it round to secure okay. it, uh huh, and and those are going to be little antennae, so you're going to kind of curl the ends over like that. Okay. No idea yet. Yeah. It, yeah. It's a sock with stuff in it. Okay. So now we're gonna. Where am I gonna give it oh, some personality? Awesome. So you've got some. You've got some. <laughs> you've got some googly eyes. Mhm. Mm there you go. You wanna <laughs> with your with your glue gun. Yeah. Is um dab a little bit of glue. Glue stuck. Hot, 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 hot. So I'm going to attach my eyes. Yeah. Yeah, you, you be care just be careful. I am careful. Are you being careful, Lee? I'm being extremely careful. I'm having a little problem with my glue gun, but that's fine. Is it be is it because um, you're not very good at using a glue gun? It, it's because the, the 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 wrong size stick is in it. Who put the stick in it? I don't know. 
I think they should be slapped about a bit. So, oh, look, we've got one eye. Let me try and force some burning hot glue through the... Okay. I have managed to do my eyes without injuring myself. Seem... See... <laughs> Seem to have a slight problem with mine, but it's fine. <laughs> I hate my life. Bit of an overreaction, to be fair, but okay. It's, but it's fine. I, what I'll do is when I when I pop over there in a minute, I'll glue I'll glue my other eye on and um, my nose. So no, I'm not sharing my glue. It's my glue. Can you look at that now. Oh, oh, that's quite. Now, if you want to put pop a little nose on, you've got a little gem. You can. Got a gem I can pop a nose on. Oh, it's an oh. And um Okay. Got, that? No, I'm just just because I've got hot glue. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and there you go, you've got yourself a little caterpillar friend. Oh, it's a caterpillar. Yeah. Or an inch. With a Products. An inchworm, or a, I don't know, whatever else it could be. Genuinely, that's cute. That's something that... Yeah, it's cute. If I received it for a gift, I'd wait about an hour before I threw it in the bin. Yeah. So, yeah, my, mine's flexible. It's having a great time. Yeah. 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 So, as, oh, as every week we say, if you can't get any peen, be a crafty queen. So you've got eyes on now? Yeah. Yeah. Cute, isn't it? Mm, mine, mine's not very well. No, it's not Mike. It's not, is it? Yeah. What? No, nothing at all. Nothing at <laughs> all. Don't you come here with your judgy eyes. <laughs> That, that, that was a very stellar effort. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that one. Yeah, it was quite yeah. enjoyable, wasn't it? No, I didn't like No. It. I was just... It was marginally less... It wasn't painful. Yeah. I think I'll give it that much. Yeah. Like, out of, like, number of thumbs up, I'll give it, like, a... Yeah. yeah. So middling. No, I'm not actually... Not really, even that. No, no. But I'm not going, oh, my God, I'll never do that ever again. No. Because I will shove something in a sock later. Yeah. And be disappointed. Yeah. Anyway... That's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on YouTube and podcast, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye bye. Bottom, 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 bottom. <laughs> oh!